We're looking at the end result here for the Gladiator grill conversion for the Wrangler JL. We're going to do a video on how to install it. And as always, these parts are available for sale at racetuning.com. So we're looking at the locations here. You have your stock horn inside in both these spots. So we want to swap out for the Gladiator grill inserts and then cut some holes to mount the lights in behind the grill. Have some extra lighting at night. The bumper is being removed to install the horns behind the bumper along the frame rails. Not required just to do the grill inserts. So the Jeep's a little bit of a mess under the hood. I think we've been in one too many mud bogs. So pull your clips out first. These are gonna release the grill so you can take the grill out. Okay, so once you get the six clips off, it just comes straight out like this. We have our front camera holding this up. Little things you might run into when you're doing this job is we have the Z Automotive front camera. So I traced the wiring back here under the radiator support and I'm gonna need to cut the waterproof seals and then pick up some new shrink tubing so as you can see, plenty of water gets under the hood and you don't want to uh, let this stuff corrode. <clears throat> On the back side of the grill, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips holding it on on the bottom. So you just pull it straight out after you pull the upper clips. Okay, so we have the grill off and we're getting ready to swap out the stock JL inserts for the Gladiator inserts. They're just held on with these T20 Torx bits. You got about probably 10 of those total. And you also have to take off these white clips. So we're gonna take the grill inserts out. I'm being careful with the grill. It's on a piece of carpet, so we're not gonna scratch the paint. Okay, these things are kind of tricky. You have to peel this up and that back to release it. See that? Don't go breaking and cutting things. You just gotta be patient. Peel up, back. There we go. That's easy. All right. Okay, we have the brackets modified. Remember the brackets used to come out on the bottom, so we chopped them and re-welded them back up on the top so that the wiring comes out the bottom. This is a tricky job to get it perfectly centered left or right, and then up and down. I actually had to cut and re-weld this one I just did for the second time. You see it has, it has this little eighth inch piece of flat bar welded on because this is not a perfectly flat surface. But we have the light pretty well centered now. Next step, cut the grill inserts and put them back in. Look, then you got these that go in right there. Let's see. Probably gonna be pretty unavoidable. I gotta run this camera wire up like that. 
turned out pretty good. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. Okay, we're wrapping it up with the Gladiator grill conversion onto the Wrangler JL. We got the super chips lit, off-road lights tucked in real nice. Got the Z Automotive front camera for the Gladiator grill. I think it turned out real good. If you need any of these parts, go to racetuning.com. We have them for sale. Thanks for tuning in.